This Greek flatbread is the perfect recipe for when you come home tired, but you still want to eat healthy, but you only have a few minutes to whip something up. It's also perfect for if you're having friends over and you want to make a quick gourmet snack to share over a glass of wine. Finally, if you make a big batch, it's an excellent vegan meal prep that can be wrapped up as wraps for later in the week. Welcome to Kat's Vegan Kitchen. If you find value in these videos, remember to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel so you never miss a recipe. Let's get started. If you watch my channel, you know I love Trader Joe's and I have some recipes that are all Trader Joe's ingredients. This is one of them. If you don't have a Trader Joe's, don't worry. There's only one ingredient that you can only get at Trader Joe's. And if you stick around till the end, I'm going to show you how to make these later on your own. We're going to use Greek chickpeas from Trader Joe's. We're going to use a can of artichoke hearts. We're going to use some sun-dried tomatoes, vegan feta cheese. We're also going to use some vegan flatbreads. And I'm going to show you how to make these into a wrap for later in the week. So I also have a little stack of lavash to wrap up for wraps. We're going to start by taking our Greek inspired chickpeas. We're going to drain these because they have a lot of olive oil and then we're going to rough chop them. You want them maybe about half as big as they normally are. We're just gonna do that with the entire can of chickpeas. Chickpeas are a really great food if you're on a plant-based diet because they have a lot of protein and they also have a lot of iron. Next, we're gonna take our sun-dried tomatoes. If you notice, I definitely drained the oil from my sun-dried tomatoes. I am not probably going to use the entire can. I have about half of them on my cutting board and I'm going to rough chop those as well. You can buy sun-dried tomatoes that are not in olive oil if you'd rather cut back on the oil in this recipe a little bit. And I'm just gonna toss them in the bowl with my chickpeas. Next, I'm gonna take my artichoke hearts and rough chop those. These are stored in water, so I did drain them, but I'm not as concerned. I love artichoke hearts. I did not grow up in California, so if you didn't grow up in California, maybe you're not familiar with artichokes or artichoke hearts, but they have a bright, almost lemony flavor. And I'm just going to toss those right into my bowl. I'm only going to use about half of the artichoke hearts and I'm gonna store the other half for another recipe. Now I'm just gonna mix up my ingredients super quickly. These flatbreads are the Trader Joe's naan. So these are actually Indian, not Greek, but I think it's perfectly okay to mix cultures when you're cooking. Like I said, I'm also gonna show you how to make these into lovely wraps for later in the week for lunches. Now I want to make sure everything is spread out evenly. Now I am ready to top with my vegan feta. This is Trader Joe's vegan feta. It is so delicious. If you don't find Trader Joe's vegan feta, they have other versions. Vio Life or Vio Life makes a nice vegan feta as well. I just took the chunk of Trader Joe's feta and I'm just crumbling it up with my fork. Once my feta is crumbled, I am just going to top my flatbreads with that crumbled feta. I like to encourage people to eat more plant-based foods, but I understand that not everybody is there yet and this recipe is plant-based. So if you're just not there where you've given up dairy yet, it's totally okay to make it with regular feta as well. Now I am going to pop these beauties in my oven. My oven is at about 375 degrees and I'm going to pop them in there for just 15 minutes. The whole recipe took me about 20 minutes. Stick around because I'm going to show you how to turn this into a delicious wrap as well. So while our flatbreads are cooking, I'm going to show you how you can use your extra filling to make a delicious wrap that you can then wrap up and put in the refrigerator or freeze for lunchtime for later in the week. I've got my wrap. This is Trader Joe's lavash. It's kind of got a long rectangular shape to it. So I'm gonna roll it accordingly. In my world, the more greens, the better. 
So I'm just going to top it with a little bit of lettuce. If you have spinach, you could use spinach as well. Now, if you notice, I have two things beneath it. I have a roll of parchment paper, and I also have this tin foil. That's because I'm going to wrap it in parchment paper and then wrap it in tin foil, and I'm going to freeze this. So next week when I want a delicious, healthy, easy lunch, it will be frozen in my freezer, ready to grab. Okay, well, we're waiting for our flatbreads to cook. I promised I'd show you how to make those Trader Joe's chickpeas. If you don't have a Trader Joe's near you, you take a can of chickpeas, throw it in a bowl, add in about two tablespoons of fresh parsley. You really do need fresh parsley for this recipe. Then you're gonna throw in two tablespoons of really high quality olive oil. You're gonna put in the juice of one entire lemon. Then you're gonna add in a couple of spices. This is a quarter teaspoon of cumin and about a half teaspoon of garlic. Since I'm using garlic powder, I'm going to add in a little salt and pepper at the end. A little bit of salt, maybe a quarter teaspoon, salt to taste, a little bit of pepper. And now you have your very own Greek inspired Trader Joe's chickpeas. I would let these marinate for, I don't know, maybe 20, 30 minutes so the chickpeas can absorb all that delicious olive oil lemon flavor. I baked my flatbreads for about 10 minutes and they turned a beautiful golden brown. Over here, my husband and I are gonna pick these up and chow down for dinner. Over here, you can pick them up and cut them into pieces with your pizza cutter for your friends that are showing up for wine. And don't forget our third way, a delicious wrap for lunch later in the week. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on Cat's Vegan Kitchen.